today in the 1st Brigade Talk area. It's located in the old ruins on Panama Viejo. What I'm going to do is show you an overview of how the 82nd operation went down here in Panama. Sir, the, uh, the task force jumped into Tucumán Torrijos Airfield at uh, 0211 on the uh, evening of the 20th. The task force assembled in three PZs. Uh, first element out of the uh, Torrijos Airport was in the South PZ, and it moved into the Pena Viejo uh, area. The second task force to leave the drop zone was the first to 504, which moved in from the center PZ and moved into Tinijitas. And the third task force, the fourth 325, moved from this PZ and went into Cimarron, Fort Cimarron. At uh, D plus two, the 4325 moved from Fort Cimarron, as shown here also, and air assaulted into Paitia airfield and secured the airfield and moved into Punta Paitia, vicinity of the, uh, the Papal Nuncia, the Vatican Embassy. On, D, on the evening of D plus on D day, the first correction, second of the 504, moved from their objective vicinity, Pena Viejo, and moved along this route to the Marriott Hotel and assaulted and secured the Marriott Hotel, uh, secured 29 uh, American hostages, and then evacuated them the following day, and subsequently secured the power station immediately across the street. They've also, they were also tasked to secure the Altos de Golf, Noriega's home, the Cuban ambassador's home, I believe where Mrs. Noriega was staying, the Prensa newspaper, the Ministry of Agriculture, a power relay station in this vicinity, and a food warehouse right here. The 1st Battalion originally assaulted Tinijitas, and from there defended that location and put security forces vicinity power station here, a TV, TV relay station here, Sierra Azul, another uh, relay station, a communications uh, dish in this location, and then conducted stability uh, operations in the San Miguelito area and continued to run those uh, patrols. The 4th to 325, after air assaulting into the Paiti Airport, airport and securing that airfield, established their headquarters here. They were tasked to provide security in the vicinity of the uh, Vatican Embassy. They established three checkpoints and isolated that area and also secured the Plaza Mar building which housed uh, the Vice President and the President himself. In addition, they secured the home of uh, the drag staffs, the American who was uh, found. Behind me is the headquarters building to El Renasar Prison. The prison was taken by the 3rd Battalion, 504th Parachute Infantry Regiment um, at or about H hour. 20 December. All right. Located adjacent to the canal, the uh, task force brought in two um, assault landing craft uh, mediums into the dock itself, and at the same time brought in two Hueys into the prison compound. The primary mission of Charlie Company was to secure the prisoners inside the compound. Um, to do that, they went in with their uh, heavy weapons on the right side of the aircraft and fired up the buildings to the right where they were receiving fire from. Um, you'll notice there's very little damage to the compound itself because the primary objective was to get in, secure the, the uh, prisoners without, you know, harming them, and uh, they did that. This gate here was blown by a pre-rigged uh, pre charge of C4 uh, set by the engineers. They had to get from inside the compound itself, outside to secure the, the uh, bunkhouse for the guards that were guarding the prison. Coming into this, the battalion expected to encounter approximately 14 guards. Instead, there were 30 on site. Most of the pockmarks you see here were caused by a 20 millimeter cannon uh, from a Cobra that was over, hovering over the canal while the uh, attack took place. The larger holes were uh, laws fired at it. The next morning after the attack, um, there were 14 men captured inside this building. None of them were harmed. Uh, they expected it that uh, more fled. Again, this is an AT-4 round that uh, took this building out. On the initial attack, the company didn't have enough men to secure the entire area, so they uh, 
simply stayed over the hill there and secured this building simply by prepping it with fire and waited till daylight to uh, secure the entire area. This is Target Ranger. It's in the town of Gamboa. It's a small suburb that houses uh, over 50 American families. Elements of the 3rd Battalion, 504 Parachute Infantry Regiment took this small town without uh, putting any of the American residents into danger and uh, eliminated PDF units that were in the area. Um, the target itself is, is Forest Ranger. His target ranger is a uh, basically a Forest Ranger branch of the PDF. From beneath this carport, two squads of the 82nd uh, approached the building and received small arms fire from an upper story. They uh, suppressed the fire with M203, M60, and M16s. You see some of the damage caused by that fire. Um, inside the building itself, there was only small arms damage caused by the clearing operations. And uh, a, a large weapons cache was found in the building, including assault rifles, um, laws, and uh, RPGs. At uh, 63rd Security Police Squadron, um, assi temporarily assigned to Howard Air Force Base. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of some of the damage that's been done in Concourse A at Torrios uh, Tacumen International Airport. If you take a look down here first under the floor, we have a fragmentation grenade that was exploded in the concourse. Resulted in some of the damage to the, uh, the floor as well as the windows and ceiling. Two fragmentary grenades were dropped in the men's room in Concourse B, resulting in extensive damage to the ceiling, walls, sinks, and a toilet uh, latrine area. The third floor area, which is actually considered the second floor, two floors above ground level in the uh, main concourse part of the airport. It's uh, shops, uh, waiting lounge, observation terrace, and a restaurant through here. They've been just about completely gutted by fire. Alpha Company 307th Engineer Battalion, standing in front of the USAT building at Panama V. Hale, outside of uh, Panama City. As you can see, the uh, building was hit with several types of rounds. Uh, up in the top corner there is a 50 cal round, took out a, a major hole there. And as you look around the building, you'll also see some of the uh, 50 cal holes, uh, 7.62. And uh, further down to our left, we also have some uh, 50 cal and 7.62 uh, fire holes that uh, was damaged. Uh, the engineers here have repaired as much as we possibly can. Uh, the building itself is not I'm with HHC, 1st 504 Parachute Infantry Regiment. We're standing here at Tinahitas Barracks outside Panama City. The operation started out with an air mobile assault. Uh, just outside the barracks here on the LZ. The assault was done by Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie Company. Staff Sergeant Schumacher, Fire Support NCO for Charlie Company, 1st 504. When we came up the uh, hill to Cerro Tinajitas here at the PDF barracks, on the first day, first we called in an airstrike, was firing 2.75 rockets. Most of the damage was done here. You can see where one of the rockets landed. See the, uh, the spray as it hit the building, causing damage to the building. There's also pock marks from the spray on the front of the buildings here. We came up the hill after it was called off, proceeded through the barracks clearing it. There was no personnel to be found at that time on the, uh, on the objective took incoming fire. The mortar fire was coming from that ridge across over there, the housing area. At that time, we could not return the fire because the uh, company commander was afraid of taking out civilians. So we could not return, but with small arms fire. That evening, there was a mortar attack on this side of the perimeter. There are two rounds landed, one approximately 25 meters away from personnel. There was four personnel wounded that night. There's pock marks all along this wall on the right-hand side of the building where the shrapnel 
from those rounds.